running into you guys at a place like this. What are the chances? Uh, nothing. I, I was just battling against some writer's block, so I took a stroll to see if I could get my knees back. Mm hmm. Yep, it, it's working. As stealthy as a snake, she can hear them coming, plants a little bait, and they all come running. <sighs> You'd better not snitch on me, okay? Dad, what's wrong? Dad? <sighs> Don't be scared. Dr. Baishu will be back soon. How is he doing? Dr. Baiju, you're back! My dad was doing fine earlier, but then he suddenly started coughing up blood. Now he can't even get a full word out anymore. When Gui left, he was still conscious, but now... Gui, please take Jia Liang to the back room and prepare for treatment. Yes, of course. Don't worry, Ayu. I will cure your father. Baishu's not gonna use Chang Sheng's secret art again, is he? Is there really no other way to save Jia Liang? Oh, please don't worry. Dr. Baishu will find a way. But... but... <laughs> How are you feeling, Dad? Are you still hurting anywhere? You're not gonna suddenly collapse again, are you? Ah, much better, Ayu. I'm feeling much better. In fact, I can't explain it, but somehow I feel even better than usual. Hmm. Wait, where's Dr. Baiju? I still haven't had a chance to thank him. Seems he moved me here before I came too. Master said he needed to take a quick rest and asked me to bring you out of the treatment room. He hasn't emerged yet, so he must still be resting. Oh, really? Well, he must be tired from treating me for two nights in a row. <sighs> I don't know how I can begin to repay him for saving my life. I'll have to discuss it properly with Jiang Li once we find her. Hmm. Speaking of which, uh, has there been any word of her whereabouts yet? No, the Adventurer's Guild hasn't gotten back to me yet. I'll go check with them again in a bit. I'll come with... <sighs> Don't forget what Master said. You're still not out of the woods yet, Jia Liang. I strongly suggest that you stay and rest at Boo Boo Pharmacy for now. I can accompany Ayu to the Adventurer's Guild. <sighs> I suppose you're right. I'll have to rely on you this time. Though, on the bright side, this means I can thank Dr. Baiju in person once he's finished resting. Traveler? Baiju hasn't shown his face ever since he went in to treat Jia Liang again. Do you think he... Huh? Hey, wait up! Uh, huh? You're finally awake? <sighs> that was far too risky. Even with me here to help you balance your chi. There was no time. I had no other choice. In any case, it was not completely without benefit to myself. I managed to learn something. Jiang Li's design is quite brilliant. She makes numerous innovations that I can learn from. Alas, if only there wasn't a catch. So, how much longer do you think Baiju's gonna nap for? They've been outside waiting for you the whole time while you were asleep. Shall we at least go and show our faces? <sighs> All right. Surely he hasn't. There's no way he could have just... 
Who's talking behind our backs again? Ah! Bye, Zhu! Changsheng! <sighs> of course. There's no need to be concerned. I merely had to transfer a rather large amount of life force on this occasion. But, with Changsheng's help, I will recover in time. Jiaoyang seemed fine yesterday. Why did he need more life-saving treatment again so soon? I... made an error in my initial diagnosis. Jialiang is in fact suffering from more than one ailment. And as a result, his life force depleted at a greater rate than I had anticipated. What? You mean, even if you got all the poison out of him, he'd still be sick? Yes. But more pertinently, the poison in Jia Liang's system is there precisely because it is being used to manage his underlying medical condition. Jia Liang has a rare congenital heart condition, and ongoing treatment is essential to maintaining healthy functioning of his heart meridian. Left untreated, it puts the patient at risk of coughing up blood and fainting, and in the longer term, causes irreversible damage to the internal organs. Though it was created from God remains, this formula is not a poison in Jia Liang's case. Rather, it's his medication. Had he not taken it all these years, he likely would have died a long time ago. Still, using poison to treat a disease is hardly a viable long-term solution. As time passed, and the poison accumulated in his system, it began to impact his cognition. <clears throat> Moreover, the longer he relied upon this medicine, the more resistant his body became to it. Jiang Li had to concoct ever greater quantities to ensure its continued efficacy, or he could have still perished at any moment. That explains why Ayu said his dad has been getting worse. And why his mom went off to gather herbs. God remains are extremely dangerous to be around, because humans have no natural defense against them. I shudder to think how many times Jiang Li has exposed herself to them. I fear that the situation is just as that adeptus described. In an effort to save Jia Liang's life, Jiang Li has abandoned all regard for her own safety. I never suspected that even Jiang Li would turn to the same path as so many others over the years. Perhaps this is the inevitable course of fate. To sacrifice one's own life to save others. To go beyond human means in order to do the impossible. Whatever the cost may be. Well... I think that it's too early to say with any certainty what fate has in mind. In any case, I have stabilized Jia Liang's condition for now, so our immediate priority should be to get ourselves back to Qingsa village and find out where Jiang Li is. Her regular exposure to God remains over such a long period will have been catastrophic for her health. And given that she's already been missing for several days, I am fearing the worst. It's me, Traveler, Dr. Baiju. Ah! It's Jia Liang! Don't tell Paimon you overheard everything already! Dr. Baiju, please let me come with you. You've already done so much for my family. I can no longer just sit here and watch while you put yourself at risk for Jiang Li's sake. After all, if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have had to put herself in harm's way in the first place. I know I won't be of much help in battle, but at the very least, I can show you the way. I'm sure I'll be able to remember. I know there's a spot where she says goodbye to me every time she goes to gather her herbs. I'm sure I'll remember. I, I have to remember. <coughs> Be careful. If you get too agitated, your blood pressure and stress levels will rise, putting further pressure on your heart. For your own safety, you should stay here and rest. No! We're out of time! 
We have to go now. Right now. Before I forget everything again. Hmm. This trip will be extremely dangerous. And there is a very real possibility that you will not return from it. Are you sure you're prepared for that? <laughs> I never expected to live this long in the first place. My death is already long overdue. So why should I fear it? There's only one thing I fear now. And that's that I'll forget her again before we manage to find her. Very well. Then follow me. Dr. Baiju, are you heading out again? Yes, this could be a long one. Could you please prepare a dose of the usual formula? Please add an extra measure of mist grass pollen and one dose each of the ingredients from the third and fifth compartments of my medicine cabinet. I hope it works. Uh, Dr. Baishu, do you mean... Hop to it now, and remember to be careful with the cauldron this time. You don't want to burn yourself again. Okay. strange feeling is back. It's just like the day I went missing. It's as if something inside me is trying to guide me somewhere. The mother load's influence is growing stronger. But is it because we're getting closer to the source? Or because the leakage of Chu blood is growing more severe? Jia Liang, can you sense which direction the source is in? I think it's this way. I'm sure of it. I feel a dull ache in my heart. <sighs> this must be the way. This place feels familiar. I think I've been here before. Hmm. There is an inauspicious presence here. Even I can sense it. I think I remember this place. <sighs> Jia Liang, are you okay? Uh, maybe you should rest here while we continue the search. No, I have to keep going. Jiang Li is still waiting for me. <sighs> then let's hurry. Marks here appear amateur and rather old. I suspect it is a thieves' tunnel. A thieves' tunnel? Hmm. Paimon has heard rumors about treasure around these parts before. Maybe it was the treasure hoarders that dug this tunnel. Judging by the tools they left behind, it's certainly a possibility. But why did they abandon this place without even stopping to pack up their tools? Ah, I remember now. She took me here once and told me that she found a way to save me in this cave. But she... Uh, she said that the method would cause me to... Uh, 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 curses! Why can't I remember what she said? Uh, Easy, Jia Liang. Come on, let's keep going. Oh. 
Mind the side effects. A bitter pill to swallow. Taking a turn for the better. here. Those treasure hoarders sure make themselves at home. I believe this sensor was used to burn a monster repelling incense. A monster repelling incense? Uh, you sure? Cause we did run into that group of monsters just now. The incense was burned several days ago. If I had to guess, the monsters we fought just now were enticed here by some entity deeper inside the cave. No doubt an encounter with the very same entity was what prompted the treasure hoarders to flee and abandon their designs on this cave. After them, Jiang Li was the next person to discover this place and what lies inside. But to her, it presented an opportunity to save Jia Liang's life, albeit as a last resort. That's right. This sensor, it belongs to Jiang Li. Yes, this was the place. This is where I told Jiang Li to give me the poison. <coughs> Jiao Liang! I'm fine. Let's keep going. I can feel it. She, she, she is right below us, waiting for me. Feel it. We're getting close. We're almost there. It's right up ahead. The place where we made a pact together to. Aha! We can keep going now. From the looks of it, the energy released by this mechanism can not only clear barriers, but also be Perhaps it's something we can make use of. Mind the side effects. Remember, health comes first.
Jung Lee! There's a monster next to her! The god remains must have lured them here. Watch my back. A bitter pill to swallow. Yeah! Seems like an emergency. This is order. Yeah! 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 Surrender! Get from me! Stabilize! Dr. Baiju, how serious is it? Is she... I can still feel a pulse, but her condition is quite grave. The god remains here are encroaching on her cognition, much as the poison in your system did to you. If we don't eliminate it soon, then even if we save her life, I fear that she may never wake up again. Then, uh, what are we waiting for? Let's destroy the remains right away! It's not as simple as that. Don't you remember what Baiju said? The poison within Jialyang's body is inextricably linked to the god remains here. If the source is purged, the poison in his system will stop having any effect. Uh, and the poison within Jialyang's body is keeping his heart condition under control. So, if it stops working... Oh no. Are you saying... Indeed. If the god remains here are purged, then your life will come to an end. <sighs> I wondered when this day might come. Wait, wait, wait! But we've all been working our butts off to save Tia Liang's life! After all that, we can't just give up on him! Baiju, you're a great doctor! Surely you've gotta know of some other way we can save him, right? You could continue to take the poison, which would buy you some time. As for Jiang Li, maybe if we put our heads together, we can think of something? It appears to me that she was striving to concoct your medicine for you, right up until the moment when she lost consciousness. Maybe it's her greatest wish that you will continue to take it and live. Dr. Baiju, give it to me straight. How long does Jiang Li have? The god remains have reached her internal organs. Under ordinary circumstances, I would give her less than three days. But if I were to treat her using a secret art... But, but what would be the point of that? Dr. Baiju, I'm all too aware of the dangers of god remains. You are not the first to mention it to me. If I continue to sustain my own life using this wretched substance, not only would Jiang Li have to keep risking her life to make my medicine for me, oh, but I would have to live with the looming threat of these remains breaking out and wreaking havoc not just upon me, but my entire family. I know for a fact that I should have died over a decade ago. The fact that I've been around to see how you grow up is already a great blessing from Rex Lapis. If my choice can bring Jiang Li back, then even if I, uh, uh, even if I die. Jia Liang. <laughs> After cheating death for so long, it seems I've grown somewhat addicted to life. <sighs> Traveler, Dr. Baiju, could I have another minute with my wife? I just want to have one final moment together. Just a moment. That's all. Of course. Thank you, everyone. And I'm sorry that I won't be able to repay your kindness in this life. Jia Liang! Baiju Changsheng! Sen 
really nothing else you can do? I am sure that over the years, Jiang Li will have tried all the conventional methods known to humankind. As for less conventional methods, I have little expertise besides Chang Sheng's secret art. Mortals are fated to grow old in Pes Sun when their natural lifespan runs out. If it were so easy to combat the natural processes of aging and death, Jiang Li would not have had to resort to unnatural methods. What a crazy situation! Jiang Li risked it all to save Jia Liang's life, and now Jia Liang has to sacrifice himself to save Jiang Li! What's the point of it all? I've seen many final farewells in my time, but I can never get used to it. In the human realm, all things must come to an end. Is it not a fitting end to die for a worthy cause? At least, that's what generations of masters before you have always believed. The path they chose was indeed a heroic one. But when I think of those who would willingly sacrifice themselves for others, I cannot help but think that theirs are the lives least deserving of death. When all this began, we agreed that once Ayu was old enough to help you gather herbs, it would be time for me to go. <laughs> if you could only see him now. He took me all the way to Liyue Harbor to see the doctor. And he even got the Adventurer's Guild to search for you. <laughs> so, I know that you'll both be okay without me. <clears throat> I've said my goodbyes. My time has come. Do what you must. As you wish. at both your cognition and your memories. In the end, you'll become little more than a shadow of your true self. I'll take it. At the very least, it will allow me to stay with you and watch how you grow up. Mom, something's really wrong with Dad. Don't fret, Ayu. I will gather some medicinal herbs right away. I promise you, nothing will happen to our family. <clears throat> Why would these memories come to mind now? <sighs> the longer we live, the tighter we cling to what we have. How I would love to hear, to hear your voice one last time. Jia Liang, Jia Liang, Jia Liang, Jia Liang! Dad! Are you awake? Uh... Jiang Li... Are you? Didn't I... Huh? What are... these? How does it feel to come back to life? Do you feel strange or different in any way? If so, could you describe it to me in detail? Dr. Baishu... I... I thought that I was going to... <laughs> Die? You did indeed. As things stand now, you're more akin to a zombie than a human. I'm a zombie? That's right. Before we set off, I asked Chi Chi to prepare an elixir of immortality. With its help, you have been suspended in the space between life and death. Of course, this is but a crude imitation of an adeptus art. I don't expect it to extend your life indefinitely. 
Whether it will keep you alive for a few days, a few months, or a few years, I'm as interested as you to find out. But, however long you have left, I believe it should be more than sufficient time for you to say your final goodbyes before departing the world in peace. I hope that Director Who finds this arrangement to be a satisfactory one. An elixir of immortality? How'd you cook that up? Ugh. Leave it to you to work on something like that behind my back. It's a work in progress that hardly lives up to its name, and it would have had no effect were it not for Jia Liang's iron will. In the end, I am merely a doctor. I understand very little of the great principles governing life and death and the perpetual cycle of yin and yang. All I know is that if I'm presented with a life that deserves to be saved, I will do everything in my power to save them. And even this would have counted for nothing without Director Hu's assistance. After all, did you not tell Jia Liang to show us the way before we set off for Qingsa Village? Oops. And I'm busted. Without Director Hu nudging things in the right direction, we may not have found Jiang Li in time. No wonder he didn't mention the elixir back then. I thought he was being frank and transparent with me for once, but apparently not. <clears throat> Director Hu told me to keep her suggestion a secret, but it seems nothing escapes Dr. Baiju's attention. <laughs> Never underestimate a serpent's sense of smell. <sighs> All I wanted was to help Jia Liang find his missing wife as soon as possible, so that he could be on his way to the afterlife without any unfulfilled wishes making the journey more difficult than it needs to be. Leave it to Boo Boo Pharmacy to snatch the perfect opportunity right out of my hands at the last hurdle. Never mind. I'll just have to put it down in the books as a deferred consideration. <sighs> one Chi Chi was enough of a conundrum. The last thing I need's another one. If I'd known this was coming, I'd have whisked him off to the Wangsheng funeral parlor the moment I found him. You stay away from my dad! When I grow up, I'm gonna become an even better doctor than Mom and Baiju, and cure Dad for good! Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, is that right? Well, you wouldn't be the first person who's tried to put Wangsheng funeral parlor out of business. If you're serious about it, you'll have your work cut out for you. Traveler, Paimon, I'll catch you all another time. <sighs> Is she finally gone? All's well that ends well. If you ask Paimon, we should probably do something to celebrate this hard-earned family reunion. <laughs> At times like this, a grand Toy feast is in order. <laughs> it feels like it was a whole lifetime ago when I last talked with Jiang Li and Ayu around the dinner table. Yay! Paimon can't wait! All right, first things first, off to the market for some fresh ingredients. Let's go! Wait up! I'll come too! Baiju. Thank you so, so much for everything you've done for us. Don't mention it, Jiangli. I was just doing my duty. Just your duty, huh? <sighs> Baiju, Changsheng, would you mind if we took this conversation outside? Zombie, there are some rules that you need to know. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm listening. First, don't forget to stretch your body regularly. Second, don't forget to... Uh, yes? Go on. Don't forget to... <laughs> I forgot... <laughs> uh, 
Time flies. It's been so long since we bade each other farewell in Chen Yu Vale. Changsheng, you're the same as ever. You haven't changed one bit. You, on the other hand, have changed a lot. You're right. My younger self would have never imagined that things would one day turn out this way. Or that you'd turn out this way, Baizhou. I've taken a look at your elixir of immortality. It's not altogether dissimilar from the poison I concocted in terms of the way it functions. I have to say, Jiangli, it was a stroke of genius to use poison to maintain life. I hope you're not too upset at me for copying your methods. No, not at all. With your intellect, even if you'd never seen my poison, I believe you would have eventually arrived at the same approach. But I'm still impressed by how quickly you managed to gain such a thorough understanding of it. Jia Liang's still only been in your care for a few days. Not just that. You even managed to improve upon the original formula. That cannot be explained by intellect alone. Baiju, be honest with me. Did you try out some of the poison on yourself? Huh. Told you the truth would surface sooner or later. Life force isn't the only thing that Changsheng's contract lets you transfer between bodies, is it? Nothing gets past you, Jiangli. You are correct. Besides life force, Changsheng's secret art also allows for the transfer of toxins and diseases. When I treated Jia Liang for the second time, I transferred some of the poison from his body into my own. Not only did this allow me to alleviate the burden on him, but it also gave me an opportunity to study its properties. There is no need to worry about any long-term consequences to my health, however. Now that the source has been destroyed, any remaining poison in me will have already dissipated. But you took such a huge risk. If we hadn't destroyed the gods' remains back there, then even you might have... <sighs> what am I saying? I'm in no position to criticize you for this. The reason I left our master and went into hiding all those years ago was that he was getting old, and I didn't want him using up any more of his own life force to treat my husband. But in the end, how were my methods any different? I risked one life to save another. And then you tried the poison on yourself, too. <sighs> it looks like both of us have ended up going the same way as our master before us. Are all disciples of Chen Yu Vale destined to turn out this way? To live a short life, haven't given away our own for the sake of others? To fight relentlessly against the natural course of life and death, whatever the cost? <sighs> Maybe our fate is sealed the moment we decide to study medicine. We are doctors, Jiangli. We ought never say that anyone's fate is sealed. Baiju, I can tell that, over the years, you've used the contract with Changsheng to transfer many diseases and toxins to yourself. There are so many that some of them I don't even recognize. Can you still stop? before it's too late? I think you know the answer, Jiangli. Every one of us from Chen Yu Vale believes in the same thing. Hey! Food's ready! Mom, come and join us! The Traveler taught me a load of new recipes and said even Dad'll be able to taste them. Come and try them out! Yes, darling. Mom will be there in just a second. Hey, slow down. Baiju, I know I won't be able to convince you, but please don't forget that if one day you're not around anymore. 
Chi-Chi, Gui, and all the friends who have grown fond of you. They will all miss you dearly. There's no need to worry, Jiangli. I know what I'm doing. <sighs> I can only hope so. Hmm. Baiju, what did Jiang Li mean by not around anymore? Are you gonna be okay? Every single mortal I've ever contracted with, including Baiju and Jiang Li's master, has passed away at a young age. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. You said that the contract with you helps people live longer. <sighs> it is a very long story. Long ago, when plagues ravaged the land, one doctor made a pledge to rid the world of pain and suffering. But even the most ingenious mortal medicine could not stay the tide of disease. And after working tirelessly for many years, even his dearest loved ones fell sick and bade their final farewell. Legends told of an herb lord in Chen Yu Vale who could cure any illness known to mankind. The doctor sought the herb lord but found only a white snake, its breathing weak and its power all but spent. Sign this contract and let our lives be joined. Then I will impart to you the secret art of healing. But be warned, this art will harm your own health. With means beyond human ken, the doctor could now reverse the process of death. And yet, the time still came to say goodbye. Only now, the one departing was the doctor, his life force spent. His final act in life was to pass on the contract to his final patient, his favorite disciple. The disciple chose to dedicate their life to saving the lives of others. And generation upon generation followed in these footsteps. <coughs> Since I inherited this contract, I've always respected the path taken by my predecessors and followed it myself unquestioningly. That is, until I tried to use the art to save my own disciples, beloved. She begged me not to use up my own life force. She said that this art is a poison chalice, an evil and unnatural practice. She did not wish to sacrifice one life for the sake of another, when both were lives she treasured. Only then did it occur to me. Did I not suffer when my master passed away? just as patients' families do at their loved one's deathbed? Are not the lives cut short by this contract just as worthy of saving as any patients? What is this contract to us? Medicine or poison? Alas, I no longer have enough time left to find the answer. I entrust to your care both Chang Sheng and this final question. May you find a remedy for this conundrum, which has ailed us so. Time and again, no matter how much I try to warn them or balance their chi, I can never save them. And you, what's your answer? If I abandoned the contract and left you without a host, what would happen? I'd spend my final moments taking a nice nap on Mount Yaojin. Then I'd be reunited with my old friends and your predecessors. Then it's decided. If there's a life in front of me that deserves to be saved, why shouldn't I do everything within my power to save it? <sighs> Once again, it's the same answer. So 
beat. Close your eyes. Who knows how many more people will take on this contract? None. This contract will end with me. My contract has strict requirements on the host's natural temperament. All my hosts have been most pure of heart. But when one with an altruistic nature gains access to this art, they are more seduced than the average person by the miracle of overturning the laws of life and death. Though they know better than anyone else the fate that awaits them, when faced with the sorrows of humanity and the pain of losing their nearest and dearest, they cannot help but reach beyond human means. They are like moths that throw themselves into the flame, seeking a glimmer of hope in a dark world filled with pain and suffering. So, by you, does... <laughs> I suppose that would make me a moth that yearns for the light, but doesn't want to be burned to a crisp. Changsheng's art can transfer pain and suffering between people, but it cannot reduce the total amount of pain in the world. It's just like we witnessed. Either Jia Liang feared for Jiangli's life, or Jiangli grieved over Jia Liang's sacrifice. I have nothing but the utmost respect for my predecessors, who sacrifice their lives for their principles. But I do not wish to join their ranks, nor do I wish to pass on this contract to anyone else in the future. Huh? But didn't you already transfer a ton of diseases onto yourself? What makes a poison, poison? And what makes a disease, a disease? When it comes down to it, are not both mechanisms that affect the operations of the human body? If disease is defined as deviation from normal functioning, then who knows? Perhaps the true elixir of immortality could in fact be a kind of poison. Many may view the notion of searching for immortality in poisons and illnesses as a flagrant violation of the natural order. But to me, it is no different from the way our ancestors tested the medicinal qualities of herbs by sampling each and every one. I don't want those who come after me to lose their lives to this contract. Nor do I wish for Changsheng to perish from losing her host. This leaves only one solution, doesn't it? Precisely. I will be Changsheng's final host, and the tradition of passing down the contract will end with me. Even the gods of old struggle to achieve true immortality. First you want to save others, then you want to save yourself. Now you even want to save me. You're getting greedy, Baiju. Hmm... But isn't wanting to have it all what makes us human? For a selfish moth like me, who's afraid of the flame yet yearns for the light, the only path forward is up towards the moon. Huh. For once, Paimon just does not know what to say. Dr. Baiju, Traveler, what are you still chatting about? The food's about to get cold. We also have coconut milk for Changsheng and Paimon. Um, okay, fine. Let's go grab some food. Paimon has a bunch of burning questions, but they can wait till after we've eaten. I do envy Paimon sometimes. Eating her fill is enough to satisfy her body and mind. <laughs> True. And yet, although we call them simple pleasures, are such things as these not precisely why we mortals cling desperately to the life we have? <laughs> 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 